Hi guys, and welcome to the Puppy Nursery. I've got a lot of requests to show you guys how I set up my Puppy Nursery. The puppy Nursery is inside my house. Um, I will kind of walk you through. Um, this is actually my office slash Puppy Nursery plus my Scentsy station. Um, plus I do all of my Disney travel agent stuff in here. So yeah, it's a lot. Um, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you what I use, how I set things up, how I would do things differently, um, and just kind of give you an idea. So we'll start with this pin. Um, I got this pin online. Um, when the puppies are being born, this looks a little different in here because I would have like my whelping rolling station set up. I would have my oxygen tank in here. Um, plus there would be like more towels and extra things on the floor, of course. So this is just kind of how after the puppies are born, after everything is cleaned up, after mom is resting and we're done whelping, this is kind of what my setup looks like. So in here, let me show you. And this pen is really cool because this little bar will come up here. And then you have these latches um, that close. But this bar goes down, so it just makes it easier, um, you know, to walk through. So over here is where I keep the puppies. Those are my um, week old Cocker Spaniel puppies. This container here, it's just one of those plastic, like, dressers that you can get at Walmart. And I just took off one of the um, drawers and that's what I use to keep them in. Now my moms don't usually stay in here with the puppies 24 seven. They would rather be with me. Um, so I have to have a little place to kind of keep the puppies in like this. Now the puppies are laying on, this is a charcoal puppy pad. I kind of like those better than the regular white and blue ones that you can get. And then I just line it with these like um, microfiber wash washcloths, um, and that takes care of any gaps that would keep the puppies from you know like crawling under here. Now under this puppy pad, I have two heating pads, and um, when the puppies are first born, I have both heating pads on. Now. After about a week and the puppies start getting more hair and stuff on them and holding their own body um, heat, I turn one of the pads off. So one side will be warm and the other side will be a little bit cooler. And the puppies will move back and forth um, as they get hot or cold. Um, <clears throat> I do have, let me turn around and show you, a heater in this room. And um, that stays look right there. You can see it says it's about 82. Of course, my kids put stickers all over it. But then I also have a thermometer over here that tells me what the temperature is right by the puppies. And this just tells me what my temperature is and what the humidity is in the room. Um, 83, it's pretty warm in here. Um, I block off the air to this room. You want to keep the room really warm um, for newborn puppies up until they're, you know, at least over uh, 15 days old. So that's where they stay. Um, I change out this pad, which over here is where I keep my puppy pads. Um, these are just the charcoal puppy pads and I just put them in like a little crate. I also keep a thing of paper towels um, for any messes that I need to clean up, puppy ribbons for pictures. Um, the pillows are just for me for at night when I come in and um, mom is feeding and I'm exhausted. I just lay there with mom. Sometimes I just fall asleep in here. Um, so floor wise, this black flooring here that you see um, under that brown pad. That is a Dura Whelp pad and I use it just to kind of protect 
my floors. Underneath that, let me come over here so I can kind of show you. So here's what the Dura, Dura Welt pad um, looks like. It's got really good traction for the puppies. Underneath this, I have a rubber mat um, that keeps the Dura pad from slipping and it also protects my floors. <clears throat> On top of that, this is just a whelping pad that I got from Amazon. And this is another just puppy pad, um, charcoal puppy pad that when mom comes in here and feeds puppies, um, it just keeps this pad from getting so dirty and having to be washed a couple times a day. I can just throw that one away. Um, so that's that. Over here is where I keep some of my puppy stuff. Um, I have a little thing of ribbon that I keep um, to put around the puppy's necks as they get a little bit older um, to keep them separate and I know who is who. Over here I just have some puppy blankets that I got on Amazon. I will link everything that I use down below so if you're interested. Um, just some rolled up rags um, to go into their little space. Um, I do have a camera that I like to keep an eye on them when I'm not in here. So <clears throat> I also got this on Amazon and we'll link that down below. Right here I have a extra Dura Welt pad and um, I believe I have like four total of these. As the puppies get older, you're going to be changing these out more often. So you want to have extras um, of these. And these I just have two because they're usually on the bottom um, and I'll usually change them out like once a day or as needed. Um, over here, this is my oxygen tank that I use for when the puppies are whelping. Over here, I keep their weight chart. Um, this is their, so how I do their weights. I do their weights every day for the first two weeks. And um, this unit is actually really nice because it's a really good size. It also zeroes out. So like I can put, um, you know, like this little rag down for them to lay on and it'll zero out and not count the weight of the rag and the puppy's weight. So, and there's mama. Emma, say hi. Who is a good girl? She just got a bath and just fed puppies. So now she's tired. So that is basically it for my, um, for my puppy nursery. Um, one thing I think I will do differently, instead of putting this whole big pen up, next time I will just put her whelping box up and actually keep the little puppy box in the whelping box. Because what I'm gonna have to do now, um, this actually extends out more when the puppies get bigger for a play area and it gets moved to my uh, living room so that they're in the middle of you know everyday life so this thing was kind of a pain in the butt to put up and now i have to take it down and move it so next time i think i will just put up her whelping box keep their little box in there because by the time they're big enough to get out of the whelping box they're going to be, be put into their um, playpen anyway. So that is what I would do differently. Um, I hope that this kind of helps anyone. Um, and I will put links down below of anything that um, I mentioned. Like I said, I get most of everything I have on Amazon. Um, but if you guys ever have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I would like to do more videos like this, um, watching the puppies grow up, whelping tutorials, um, all the all the dog stuff. So thanks guys for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye.